I'm Brock Strader, I'm a project manager here at Greenwood Plastics. Today we're going to do a simple tub that a new customer has requested. So let's get to it. The base of this tub is a 10 by 10 square. So I'm going to start off by drawing a 10 by 10 wireframe here. And that will be the base of where everything is extruded from to make the solid. I'll put it into an isometric view so that I can grab it and extrude it upwards. The tallest dimension of this is 8 inches. It's actually slanted in the front. So I'll extrude it up 8 inches to get that tallest dimension. Now I've got a 10 by 10 by 8 cube. I gotta add a draft to it which makes the top wider than the bottom. Uh, that allows it to release from our mold when it's thermoformed. And then the uh, the front of this is actually going to be six inches high where the back's eight inches. So I'm going to cut a triangle out of the solid to uh, give it the six inch dimension in the front. Now that's cut out, I'm going to hide the lines that I used to make that so they don't get in the way for things I'm doing later. Then I'll switch it into wireframe view so that I can select endpoints and make a square at the top. This square will serve as the outline for the cutout when I shell this to make it an open tub and it'll serve as the inside of the curl over, we're going to add a curl over to this one because it adds stability to the product and the uh, customer requested handles on it so it gives us an easy place to put handles. Uh, extending these lines out a half inch to accommodate that curl over. I'll add another half inch to the two sides where I'm putting the handles on so that the handles are in there. We found that four inches seems to be the ideal width for a handle, so I'm going to shorten these extended lines down to four inches and reconnect them to the part to make the handle. I'm angling these lines where the handle reconnects because for thermoforming you don't really want to have any 90 degree angles. Everything needs to be filleted or chamfered. I'm going to add some fillets to all the corners of the solid, make it easier to come out of the mold, less likely to crack, and just gives it a better overall look too. So now that all the sharp edges are filled in and rounded, I'll shell out the solid to turn it into a tub instead of a solid block. And now I'll add the solid for the curl over and the handles. Now I'll go under the curl over and shell that out as well because with thermoforming everything starts as a flat sheet. There can't be anything that's thicker than another part. It can't be solid there. It wouldn't, wouldn't form.
Now I'll round out the edges and the curl over. And the solid's pretty well done. I'll hide all the wireframe in there. So there's just a solid part. And that's the finished product.